Now, it's the royal photograph that's become a bit of a PR disaster, hasn't it? Making headlines, believe it or not, around the world. Well, it's dominating the front pages here as well. Um, but, well, the Princess of Wales, she has apologised for causing confusion by editing the photograph. A picture of chaos. That's how the mirror sums it up. Their royal editor, Russell Myers, is here. Gosh, this isn't going away, hey. isn't it? It's just crazy. I mean, at the end of the day, she just wanted a nice picture of her kids, but it's really blown up in their faces, hasn't it? It has, and I do think there is, uh, you know, more than a degree of sympathy for Kate. Oh, absolutely. And um, maybe not necessarily the palace, but certainly for Kate, she wanted to put out a nice picture of her and her kids on Mother's Day. You know, she's the amateur photographer. She's tinkered with it a little bit. It's gone to the palace. They haven't looked at it. It's a litany of errors, and mm. as many errors as uh, there are in the photograph, unfortunately. But, um, you know, I think the, the blame really should lay at uh, Kensington Palace's door. I mean, what are they doing? Are they not looking at things like this? I think on the back of all the social media backlash, the conspiracy theories, last week we had a statement from the palace hitting out at the madness of social media and they've just pulled a load of petrol onto the fire, They kind of have, which is really sad. But interestingly, there have been... It's weird on social media, there have been people who have who've said things like, I want a photograph of her holding up today's front pages to make sure that we know that she's still alive. Of course she's still alive, it's ridiculous. But then on the other hand, I think it's turning. People are just saying enough now. You know, the poor woman, she is recovering from, it must be serious surgery, nobody's in hospital for two weeks for something small. Um, just leave her. Yeah, for sure. Just I mean, leave her. Just let you know. Really, this is not fair. She doesn't need this. You know, when you sort of get into the realms of conspiracy theories, so it's a rabbit hole, isn't oh. it? And that is the issue for the palace. And do they comment on it? Do they not? Mm. Do they want to get involved in it? And I do think there is, you know, an overwhelming feeling now to sort of just say, listen, uh, she has been in hospital. She's been resting, recuperating at home. You know, to, to the palace's credit, they have been pretty consistent through, through, from the off. I mean, January sixteenth, she went in hospital for two weeks. She pretty much stayed for that period of time. We weren't going to see her until after Easter. Yeah. And yet, you know, all these claims of, like, proof of life, let's see her. I mean, it is utterly, utterly bizarre. Now, the issue is, I think the palaces are caught between two different um, sets of rules because the king is going through his cancer treatment, he's <laughs> been very open, and Kate doesn't want to do that. She's been very, very privately guarded about mm -hmm. her medical uh, ailments. And, um, you know, she just needs a bit of time to, to rest I and recuperate. I think so. She certainly doesn't need to be bounced or bullied into making a statement or doing a video or doing anything like that. It's just unfortunate that nobody had a look at that picture. Yeah, I think that... And it, went, uh-uh, I don't think the, so. The issue here is the vacuum that was created. You had yep. the world's biggest picture agencies pulling it from their libraries. They didn't want to be associated with it because of their ethics and guidelines. And you can understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, the fact that the palace could then not get hold of Kate or William to discuss it until Weird. Monday morning, mm. I mean, that is an issue for their own processes. I'm sure there's going to be a big review over the next couple of weeks and, uh, you know, they'll, they'll have to sort of try and, uh, try and sort out the mess. No, exactly. Lots and lots of people have got in touch with us. Thank you very much indeed for doing that. Craig says, I think the controversy is ridiculous. We all take photos. Um, I think it could have looked better and it could have been edited better, but it doesn't make them untrustworthy, he says. Sue echoes the thoughts of many just saying, I think the princess should be left alone to recover. Um, and everybody's really overwhelmingly saying, for goodness sake, this is... This is just getting this is just getting daft. But it yeah. is, to be fair, on everybody who, you know, the other side. It is a mess of their own making in a sense. It is. But um... Oh, I just wish they, I just wish somebody, you know, somebody who, who takes photos for a living, you know, Arthur Edwards, have a look at it and go, na na na. Maybe they should I have wouldn't have put to this out. But <laughs> sent it to Arthur. I think, you know, we're 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 in the sort of realms of conspiracy yeah, theories, I AI, know. fake I news. Know. And that is an issue for the palace. It's not necessarily to do with Kate. I hope, because we've had these beautiful images that she's taken over the years of the children on their birthdays and their first days of school. Wouldn't it be a crying shame if she backs away from that now? If she thinks that, you know, the backlash is too much for her. Right. Um so you know, if, if everyone just pulls off, we have said consistently ourselves. Everybody needs to calm down. This is a woman who's been in hospital. So, I... You know, you wouldn't ask these sort of questions of a colleague, would you, when they come back to work no. or when they're going to be back? So, you know, everyone have a bit of common sense. No, exactly. And um, what, what is next for them then? They just sort of get on with it now. We might see her at some point. Yeah, well, we saw... She feels up to it. Yeah, to I mean, we, we saw her yesterday in the car. You know, William was going oh, to yeah. the Commonwealth Day yeah. service at Westminster Abbey. He's been out and about at Earthshot uh, event yesterday. Um, she was going to a private appointment. We don't know where. 
Again, come back to the sort of Kensington Palace statement, they have been pretty consistent. She's going to be back sometime after Easter. So, mm. you know, let's wait and see when sure. she comes back. It, no, exactly. no doubt um, the, the, the scrutiny will be huge, the interest will be massive. We're talking about one of the world's most famous people and photograph people. And, uh, you know, I feel, I feel for a little bit. I do, and I hope she's all right. I just hope she's all right, especially with all this going on mm. as well. You know, it's not going to be, not going to be easy, not going to be easy at all. Thank you, Thank you. Russell. Thank you very much indeed.